This Hispanic pastor has been one of President Trump's biggest supporters from the start. But you probably don't know his story. He'll join us live to tell us about uh, the president's heart of passion next. I especially want to thank you for calling this what it is, a humanitarian crisis. Although some don't want to paint you as having a heart of compassion, uh, I know you as a man that does have this heart of compassion. It's genuine and authentic. The pastors that I'm here representing today uh, salute you and thank you. As the border battle wages on, President Trump has support from a leading Hispanic pastor down in Texas. Pastor Ramiro Pena has supported the president since 2016 and has been a member of his Hispanic Advisory Council. But you might not have heard much about him in the media. Pastor Ramiro, Ramiro Pena is a member of the White House Faith and Opportunity Initiative, and you heard from him down there on the border at the roundtable discussion with the president about a month ago. Thank you for joining us, Pastor. Thank you, Ainsley, for having me this You're morning. You're welcome. Tell us about that meeting with the president and why it was important for you to be there with him. Well, it was important for several reasons. Um, uh, one of the reasons is that uh, there are many in the media that are saying this is a manufactured crisis all of a sudden, um, multiple that the criminal element uh, openly and freely coming across our border uh, where we have effectively open borders uh, needs to be stopped. Um, the drug trafficking, the human trafficking, uh, the arms that are coming across making our communities more violent uh, needs to be curtailed and I just don't understand why any reasonable person would not want to put a stop to that or, or somehow stop the flow of that coming so easily into our country. Mm -hmm. Pastor, we, there was a poll that we were reporting on last week, the Maris NPR PBS poll, and it showed Hispanics the approval rating of the president since the shutdown, since December to January. In December, it was 31 percent, and now 50 percent of Hispanics approve of him. Why is that? Well, I think a variety of reasons causes that. Uh, number one, the unemployment is at record low among Hispanic Americans. Um, Hispanic Americans are, um, are, are a group, as a group, have a tremendous work ethic. Uh, are generally very pro-life, uh, uh, pro-faith, uh, pro-traditional values. And as this president has lined up with those kinds of things, it's become more and more clear that those are the kinds of values he stands for that really are the, the bedrock of the Hispanic community uh, a, as a group, as a whole. Okay. Pastor, thank you so much for being with us. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thanks.